So HB2, a lot of people don't know because they hear such an outcry, they think it's really extreme. But all that it does is it leaves private businesses to make their own decisions about how they want to do their bathrooms. But it says in public schools and other public facilities, you can't force girls to shower with transgender biological males. People are going to have to, you know, you may want to make other facilities available, faculty lounges, other forms of bathrooms, but we're not go going to invade our girls' privacy as uh, in the name of a false idea of discrimination or bigotry. Um, if Macquarie loses after having championed an essentially moderate, reasonable, common sense uh, bill on these things that pushes back against the federal government's power grab over our schools on these issues. What is it going to mean for consciousness protections in Georgia or any of Arizona or any other, even the deep red states? I mean, sir. Really? Yes. I think. I think that there is such pressure when the. National Basketball Association moves its all-star game when high-profile athletes say they won't be married in your state. The onus is on you as the candidate to show that ordinary people in the grassroots have a different opinion. If they don't, then it's hard to justify you moving against your own donor class and against the um, the press leads to champion a position that actually makes it harder for you to be elected.